Hello everyone, my name is Avinash, stake pool operator for Pool Oro. You are watching the video series on how to set up a secure, highly available and fault tolerant stake pool in AWS. In this video, we will be creating the following resources. Elastic IP address uh, for the main node and relay nodes. Security groups uh, or firewall for main and relay nodes so that they can communicate each other and uh, we'll create ec2 launch template and auto scaling groups uh, this is for high availability and finally we'll provision ec2 instances and install cardano node on it let's get started log into the aws console uh, we'll first create the elastic ip address in the search panel search for vpc click on vpc Click on allocate. We'll name this as main hyphen main node. So this is the IP address uh, that will be assigned to our EC2 instance for the the block producing node. And uh, let's create another one. Duplicate IP address. Name this as relay underscore node relay node. If you remove the filter, we should have two elastic IP address, one for the main node and one for the relay node. Let's create the EC2 instance uh, for the main node uh, from the AWS console in the search panel, search for EC2. Click on EC2. If you scroll down, you should see the option launch instance. Click on launch instance. For the AMI, uh, Amazon machine image will choose Ubuntu image search for Ubuntu and uh, make sure to select Ubuntu server 20 uh, with 64-bit uh, x86 architecture Cardano node only supports x86 so make sure to only select x86 uh, ARM is not supported yet so we'll select the Ubuntu server 20 click on select For the instance type, uh, we'll choose T3A uh, and uh, T3A large instance. So Cardano node, uh, this is the minimum required. So it requires at least 8 GB of memory uh, with two CPUs. Uh, T3A is the cheapest one in AWS. So we'll pick T3A large and uh, configure click on configure instance details in here uh, on the network tab uh, choose the the vpc that you have created in the previous video in my case uh, this is the vpc that i was that i have created so select that one and on the subnet uh, choose the uh, public subnet it can be any public subnet a b c so pick one of them Make sure to only select the public subnet uh, since the private subnets won't have internet access. And uh, will remain the rest of the options default. Scroll all the way down and uh, click add storage. 
here uh, for the purpose of this video uh, i'm gonna just uh, use 30 gb volume but i highly recommend uh, using 50 or more um, uh, gb click on add tags configure security groups uh, we'll create a new security group for the main node uh, let's call this as main underscore node give some description main node security group uh, will provide ssh access so select ssh uh, tcp 22 uh, so in here source uh, will provide uh, my ip uh, that will give you uh, the network that you are connected to so make sure to only select my ip that way um, the ssh uh, it's only so only when you are connected to that specific network uh, you are able to ssh to the uh, ec2 instance uh, give some description ssh access from my network Mm, we'll add another rule. Uh, this rule is uh, for um, for the relay node for your relay node to connect to the uh, the main node. So we'll give all traffic. And here we have custom. Let's open another tab. Uh, go to the AWS uh, the the main page. Here search for VPC. Uh, we'll we'll grab the, um, the elastic IP address of the the relay node. Elastic IP. And then uh, we'll just copy this IP address and we'll slash 32 uh, relay node uh, review and launch. Click on review and launch. And then we'll do click on launch. Here it asks for to create, if you already have a key pair, uh, you could just use that or create a new key pair. Uh, in my case, I'll just create a new key pair. Uh, make sure to download the key pair. Uh, once, uh, if, you, if you have not downloaded this option, you would not, you would not able to download it this again. So I'll just provide a name. I'll provide the main node. Download the key pair. And then we'll launch the instance. So the instance is launched. To click on the the instance id um, so we have the instance running now let's ssh to the ec2 instance that we have just created uh, click on connect select the instance and click on connect uh, we'll copy this command uh, which will change the permissions of the pem file uh, run this in a terminal uh, wherever uh, cd to the directory wherever you have the pem file copied and we'll copy the ssh command uh, if you are a windows user uh, you can use a putty tool in order to ssh or if you have a unix terminal you can use the unix terminal to ssh to the uh, instance s yes. so we are so we have logged into the ec2 instance now
So I'll follow the uh, the, the installation of Cardano node. Um, so I have the instructions in my GitHub repository. It's under Oro Stake Pool, and uh, the repository is Oro Stake Pool hyphen GitHub dot io. So click on Stake Pool Automation Scripts. So there is a readme dot uh, uh, file. So we've already done the SSH part. Uh, we're going to clone this repository where we have the automation scripts to install the, the Cardano node dependencies and uh, as well as installing the Cardano node. Do git clone, do ls minus ltr. So you can see uh, the, the repository has been cloned. Uh, let's do ch mod on that. So we are giving execute permissions on these scripts. And then we'll run the first script, install Cardano node dependencies. So copy this. Run it. So this basically installs all the Ubuntu updates and uh, as well as installs GHC and uh, all the other uh, dependency libraries required for uh, Cardano Node CLI and the Cardano Node. Okay, so the installation is completed uh, for step one. So it took about um, four minutes to complete that script. And uh, it has installed the cabal and it also installed uh, GHC version 8.10.2. So the next step is to install Cardano node and Cardano node CLI. Um, for that, I'm gonna copy the instruction uh, run the script too. So this script will run in the background since it takes about one to two hours to complete. So uh, we'll just run this in the background. So I've copied the command. I'm gonna run it. Um, press enter to come out of it. So when you type in jobs, you will see the script is running in the background. So if you want to see the output of the script, uh, it's uh, written to this file nohub.out so you can do tail hyphen f uh, as you can see it's uh, running the installation step so I'll pause here and come back once the installation is complete I have the installation completed for step 2 so, so I don't have any jobs running in the background now so if I do tail hyphen f on no hubs no hub dot out file so as you can see it took about 60 minutes uh, to complete the script and uh, it installed the the latest version of cardano node uh, as of uh, recording this video 1261 is the latest version and uh, it installed the cardano cli version uh, the latest one so if I run the command Cardano node version, uh, we have the, the latest version here. Let's run step three uh, to configure the, um, the startup scripts using systemd so that uh, if, if when, a, when Cardano node gets terminated or get stopped it will automatically start the uh, the node so we'll copy the uh, script 3 and run it okay so that's completed so in order to verify the status of the node you can just verify that by running this command so we have the, the Cardano node active and running. 
let's check the logs to check the logs you can run this command the node logs okay as you can see uh, it's syncing up the database so this process might take uh, about 8 to 10 hours in order for the entire data database to get synced while the database is syncing let's install uh, the glive uh, monitoring tool uh, so this will be handy to monitor the cardano node status so let's copy script 4 okay we have the glive view installed now let's run the, uh, the let's check the db sync status okay so as you can see uh, it's at the syncing at 0.2 percent um, we are at epoch 2 i think it has to sync until the current epoch i think it it's at 258 uh, so as i said uh, this process would take around 8 to 10 hours uh, to get um, to get synced 100 percent so the db sync is completed uh, let's check the status so it took around 8 hours uh, to sync the entire blockchain so as you can see i'm at the current epoch 258 and uh, okay this looks good it's running on port 6000 and uh, it's on the 1261 version so so wait until the db sync is completed uh, before uh, creating an ami uh, for the relay nodes.